All right, Mercury transiting the sun. Um, I got out here about, uh, it was after 10 o'clock. It was probably about 10, 30, 11, somewhere around there. So it was already halfway across uh, the sun. It started out at like 7, and it was supposed to take uh, over 5 hours to transit the sun. Um, I got a little bit of footage. Well, actually, I got quite a bit. I got a couple hours, but I'm surely not going to post a couple hours of the footage. Uh, kind of seemed like it'd be a little boring watching a black dot for a couple of hours on YouTube. Uh, but I just wanted to post a little bit. Um, this is uh, the first part of my um, observation of it. Um, and then I'll go down to the last part. Um, of the day when the clouds came in. The clouds came in right as it got to the edge. I wanted to see what it did when it hit the edge of the sun um, and transited out away from it, but uh, unfortunately my sky got all cloudy right toward the end, and you'll see that in the video. Um, I did try to get a little bit more footage after this last part, but it really wasn't even worth uh, uploading and posting. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just let the natural audio play here. I don't even know what I said while I was doing it. So just uh, ignore it if you want. Turn down the volume. I wanted so bad to get that rocket launch me that I went through the trouble going there. Then I completely missed it. That's full zone. With the P-1000. Full zoom. Now in this last part, as you obviously see, I was having a harder time, not only uh, you know, with the lighting, but also getting it into focus. Um, we got off to this uh, right side, and I was kind of playing a little bit uh, you know, of a game with it, 
Um, I tried to reset my camera a couple times um, as far as uh, the lighting goes uh, prior to this, um, but with no avail. Um, still had the issue with the light. Um, it's just like when you're trying to film the moon. You know, the moon gets off to one side and it all goes, it, it just wipes it out. Um, and that's what I was always talking about with uh, in my videos, my phone videos, how the light does play a role, even though people don't want to maybe uh, admit it. But um, And yeah, you'll see a couple things fly by here, um, but I don't think it's nothing but a, a bird, a far out bird, a bird flying way up there, or some bug flying in front of my camera. But anyhow, um, the light does play a role. Um, and the other day I was out to at Bayport um, doing some uh, filming and uh, noticed that, uh, again, I've said this in the past, that when I looked to the south, I had major mirroring um, and uh, magnification. And uh, when I went and turned my camera to the north, I got less magnification um, and a little bit less mirroring. Um, so there is uh, something um, causing that, and I, I always say it's the angle of light because uh, I, you know, of course I'm pointing my camera toward the light, looking more toward the south, because that's where the sun is now, uh, more toward the south. Um, um, even in, the, um, you know, when it gets uh, more and more into the winter time, um, the sun goes further, and further to the toward the south, southwest, I should say. Um, and then, you know, of course, it works its way back up to uh, the west and then uh, northwest. Um, but this is something that I've been bringing out all the time about how the sun, the light, the angle of light will also blind you. The amount of light will also blind you. Too much light is not good. Not enough light, it's not good. I mean, when you're casted in the dark, and I mean dark, dark, you can't see. And when you're casted into too much light, again, you cannot see. You have to be the, the you have to have that Goldilocks zone uh, in order for your visibility to be the best. Also, uh, the weather conditions also play a role, and that's how um, you know we're able to see things on a clear, visible day. We're able to see way too far than what science gives us credit for. Um, they want to call it refraction, where the simple explanation for it is, is good visibility, and we don't live on a damn ball, spinning ball in space. And here comes the clouds, folks. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, hope you like this. Uh, like I said, I only wanted to do a little video on it. Um, I didn't want to put out all the footage, just way too much. All right, thanks a lot. And I wanted to put out the song, A Little Black Spot on the Sun today, but I didn't want to copyright it.